Oh, I'm here. Da -da 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 -da. Let's set that. And we'll go to the new dentistry. We okay. Pen? Pedicin? Now's the question, are you real or are you a bot? <laughs> well, we'll find out soon enough. Either way, if you're real, thank you for the follow. If you're a bot, don't do anything bad. <laughs> okay, I have my mic. Yes. Let me make sure this game actually works, because every time I try to open it, it is so freaking finicky with the controller. Yes, yes, Steam, I hear you. Why does it have to blow up this giant screen? Ay ay ay. Okay, you actually want to work? Thank you. Okay. It's actually fucking functioning. Screens are ready -o. Let me just make sure we actually get it to set. Oh, what the heck? I clicked that three times and then it worked. All right. Well, obviously, last time I wanted to try and start this demo and see how it goes, but as I was getting confused and creeped out at the same time, so I definitely took a pause on this, but we'll, we'll give it another go. Hopefully we actually complete what the game is and we'll see how it goes from there let's see how oh, how loud i do not need it that loud okay obviously last time we found out the killer was over the age of 30 which pretty much did not give me any information maybe i have to go to different items in order to get more clues so we'll find out soon enough Obviously, these are the dozer, dowsers, dowsers, probably. <laughs> okay, so. Right, we're at the beginning of the screen. We need to set this lighter. Okay. So we need to go to the dowsing room from here. Okay, we see bugs and things. Can't do anything in there. Can I go through here? There was that creepy mirror. I need to remember that because apparently that's going to be important in a bit. Um, This should be the right place. Place the victim's case on a stand. So Luke, walk through the house. Gotcha. So this is probably where I messed up and I just didn't take into account some information being provided. Oh, what's this? Picture frame? I just heard a door close. Okay, if there's something about picture frame, that must be important. What was that? What is it pointing me to? Where was it pointing? This is a different room. Why do we hear squishy? What is it pointing at? Towel? Is it pointing at the towel or the candle? Dinosaur? Picture frame? No, I guess it was pointing at the towel. So a towel, a picture frame, gotcha. I don't remember it doing all that last time. Anything in here? The clock. So I've got three different things at this point. That should be everything I need. Ah, uh, yeah, let me head back to the other room because I think that should be enough. I hear ominousness, but this is the room I need to be in. 
I mean, that should be everything. I should be able to decipher. All right, I have to read the book. Candle. What the fuck do I hear? Glass. God, I hate the sound effects in these games. Painting. Murder has a tattoo. Fireplace. Clocks. 30 years or older. Why does it have to move? Okay. Clothing. Oh. Ah. Oh. My gosh, I gotta go find these whispers. So let's go find out which one of these got opened. Okay, where is it? I don't want to play around with these scary looking ghost things. Where are you? Where is it? Uh, somewhere over here? Where is it? Maybe in this bathroom? Ah! <laughs> That's pretty eerie. Oh, we gotta go back to the candle. What's it pointing at? Painting? A photo. Hang on, let's go take care of this first. Yes, yes, we know we're running out of time. Impatient thing. Ugh. Right, we're supposed to look for clothing. I have no idea exactly what that's going to lead me to. Nope, nothing in there then. Do do do, nothing about the plushie? How else? I'm getting lost in this place. Honestly, this place is gigantic. There is no reason for this house to be this spooky. Is this a room I need to go to? Nah. Ba ba ba. What else did I find? Any other things? Okay, blade, bed, clocks, fireplace, books, painting. The color of clothes will tell you the color of their hair. So only thing I found, toys. So maybe I need to look for more toys because I found two. Because thus far, the murderer has a tattoo, and the murderer is 30 years or older. I mean, that sounds like enough information to find out who it is. So... Which button do I need to click for their information? I don't think I need to put his thing up there. Probably not. Let's leave that there. Uh, no, not this menu. I would like to continue. Ah, there we go. Why did we cross that out? Weird. Don't know why that's crossed, but it's important. Oh, he's 29. So that is somebody who we can't count for. Alicia, she's 28. Oh. Hmm. Potentially so. Okay, because she's the only one who's 30 years or older. But it doesn't say she has a tattoo. And so far what we found out last time, 
Conrad was in an entirely different building at the time of Luke's murder. So it has to be Annabelle. But what information do I need to find? Maybe that's all I need to do. So let's go to the other room. This... What is it pointing me at? Wait, what a... A wall? Stove? What are we looking at? I don't know. Anyways, let's go over here. Let's find out where Annabelle is. Ah... Uh... <laughs> Mr. Luke, what about your information? 018-1904. So... 11. Okay, the 11th hour. Whoops, that's way too high. It's further January for the 8th. Gotcha. Do, 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 do. And we're at what year? The same year, 1904, yeah. Okay, let's find out. What the fuck just slammed? That was scary. Okay. No, I, I want to pin it. Okay, that should be everything. Why did the door suddenly slam? I think we can go write the report now. We should be able to. I don't know why there's these creepy sounds in the background, though. Um, yeah, that should be the only two clues we need. Wait, how do I put the second one down there? No, I... Jeez, where is the direction at? No, I, I need to click on the other one. Okay. Right, so I need to put any other clues? Where is the button? Okay. Why? This is not really working. Okay. I just want to put the information in. Then we'll be done. There we go. Jesus, that was being complicated. That should be everything, right? Hi! I heard something terrible today. I just heard a woman blaming her husband for not being able to kill his own grandson. Annabelle had to do it herself to appease the voice of God. This case gave me an idea about death of our grandmother. The strikes of different people should be different, right? I studied the autopsy results of our grandmother and followed a couple of oddities. Each stab was weaker than the previous one. In the course of the struggle, such a clear pattern is impossible. The direction of the blows also don't match up. They're all too similar and weird. My strikes were aimed at the chest area and the blade was directed not upwards or downwards, but almost perpendicular to the body. Maybe she was killed in her sleep and the whole robbery was staged? If so, then someone was trying to describe disguise premeditated murder. Who wished her death? I'll try to find the last. Okay. Will scroll for me? No? <laughs> there we go. I will try to find the last people she spoke to. Gotcha. Lee, Tough lesson. So... I guess now we're kind of on our own? Oh, more murder. Are you sure everything's all right? 
I know that at night you're busy helping me and during the day you try to open new rooms in the house. Oh. So each day we're progressively getting more and more access to this house, which is good and bad because that means there's more places for these mirrors to appear where we have to find them and stop whatever the hell intruders. <laughs> Eerie. Do me a favor and go rest as soon as you finish this case. I mean, hopefully. Oh, maybe your hallucinations with mirrors are just a reaction to lack of sleep. I don't know. I don't know. A local school teacher died of a heart attack right in the middle of church. Well, that's ominous, but it might just be just the timing. The case would not interest us if the headmistress of the same ghost school had not died of a heart attack at the same hour. Whoa. The headmistress corresponded with her old woman for the last several years. Autopsy shows they were poisoned an hour before their death. Who wants to kill these people? Find out who did it. We have several people. Okay. What is all their angles? So we need to send the killer dozer, dowser, da, mark where the killer was during the poisoning, happened one hour before the murder, perpetrator and the victims have to be in the same place, obviously, I mean, how did you poison them? Obviously being in contact. Send two of his features by using dowsing on two victims. Two features of the killer? Okay. Oh, so this is one of the kill- Oh, the two green are the people who died, right. Okay, so January 28, 19. Okay, so the poisoning is going to be at 12. Gotcha. <laughs> Lovely, the age is dead. You could just put age and just put death date. Oh, no, I, I want to look at Florence. Okay. I call her black. Is well, I mean, this is a fa fictional thing, but can someone's eye color literally be black? I mean, when you just say dark brown or just brown for a dark color, because I'm pretty sure your eyes can't be black unless you're a demon. <laughs> but I'm guessing in this world, that's totally normal to have eye colors that are black. But anyone else have some interesting color choices? Why was she the only one who had eye color black? Okay, um, that might just be like a error because... You can see her eyes. They're not black unless they're talking about like one eye is darker than the other. I mean, that might just be the position of this photo. Oh, well, we're going to go with that. Okay, I don't hear any creepy whispers, so we should be fine. So let's get started. Let's see, to... Wait, scary ass doors running open. So let's find out where the poisoning. What is this creepy ass music? Please stop. So let's find out where Florence was at 12 o'clock. Yeah, 12 o'clock of January of the 28th. It was beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep. Why do I hear doors closing? Okay. Clues, a clues, a clues. Gotcha. So we have everything. Let's see where she was. You were here? Maybe here? 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 S building 7? Okay. Okay. And let's find out where Aaron was. You're here as well? Okay. Ominous as shit. 
Spencer, maybe? Oh, Spencer is the murderer. We found that out really quick. So we need to go to the other... What the fuck? Why did I hear squishies? Okay, that was ominous as shit. Let's see, let's put you here. And let's go find some items. Ah! Door! Is that just intentional? That just scares me. Wait, what, what are you dinging on? Painting? Wall? Are you, are you trying to... Painting, okay. So, I can't go upstairs yet. What is this dinging on? Candle? Door? Okay. Not on this. Can't go through here yet. Ah, fuck you. Why? There was no need for that. There was no need to do that. I hate you. What is this? Oh, a dress. Um, I absolutely lost where I was going because it decided to scare me. Only thing it mentioned to me was a painting. So murderer has a tattoo. I guess go to you. Why? Ugh. Gosh. It intentionally got louder. What is it pointing to? What are you pointing at? Eh? God damn it, no. We're not playing this right now. Go somewhere, you creepy ass whispers. I'm trying to solve a murder. A wall? What are we pointing at, sir? You? Where are we pointing? Candle. No? Towel. Okay. What? Fuck you. Keep forgetting all these little sounds it does. Hate it. There's no need to scare me this badly. Oh, so there's clothes hanging up I could have just pointed at earlier. Okay. Nothing creepy happening at the moment. Hey. La la la, nothing here. Okay, now it's so chill again. Okay, I guess we go in this direction. Maybe something in the other room. Come on, open. Anything in here? No? What are we looking at, sir? Okay. And this room's incredibly dark, so it's hard to see where I'm navigating to. So what was it? Towel? Is it because it's a color? Why do I hear knocking? Okay. That was scary as hell. So we know where all the victims and we know who the killer is. Now it's the question of... Two of his features. So what can I find else about him? Because it was just pointing at a towel. Is that just supposed to be white? Which I don't understand that. Let's look at Spencer's profile. His hair color is brown. His 
eyes are blue. Unfortunately, he's my neighbor. He was expelled from the local school. Great achievement considering who continues to study there. Mr. Byer continues to hang out with his old friends. He bragged to them that he would punish those who kicked him out. I.E., there you go, the school teacher, the headmistress. Perfect motive. But dang, he's 16 and he murdered them. That's fucked up, dude. Okay. So, 29 or younger. How do I find out about the 29 or younger? Um, a bed. But I've not seen any beds here. Is there a bed? Like, it's hella dark. I cannot see. Have I gone through that door? I must have. Couches? Nothing back here. Something over here. Don't know what we're pointing at. Okay, what are we pointing? You're pointing at this, it's green. Okay, so that's our note. Gotcha. Scary ass bathroom, bye bye. So I guess that's the only other note. I mean, is Spencer's eye color green? It says the eye color is blue, though. Is it, mis is it giving me information about him? No. So what is it telling me about? Um, the color toys. But that shows the murderer's eye color is green. Okay, can, how do I change it? Oh, do I hear whispers somewhere? In the bathroom? What the fuck? <laughs> how do I stop this? Um, what the fuck is this? Am I supposed to do something? Well! You, you actually can die. Crap, I have to start that over. <laughs> oh, this is like a floating lady. <laughs> so now I'm stuck with another problem. So maybe it's you because it pointed at eye color green. But then it put you at the same location. So maybe it isn't you. What's up with Tristan? He worked as a doctor. He only rebuffed a job janitor. Proud Irish. Okay, maybe I... And since he's the janitor, no one was suspected. Interesting. So we can't defend ourselves when those scary-ass ghosts come through. So it really wants us to hurry up and solve this quickly. Okay, so where do I need to go? And I can't run, so I'm always walking everywhere. Do, do, do... So we have this. And apparently we already have, we know he has eye color green. And what was the other thing? He has a tattoo? Because I was saying about the painting. That should be everything I need on that. Don't hear whispers, so we should be good. That way we don't run into this scary ghost lady again. Let's see, hour 12, and the day is going to be the 28th. I'm trying to rush this because I don't want to see a ghost again because that sucked. Okay, and put his 
thing up here. So he should be at that location. Oh, so I pinned the blame on the kid. Okay, let's go get the other information. You're there too. And Aaron. Bada bing, bada boom. We got our information. Let's go submit that report before a scary ghost comes for us. La la la. And I don't need those. So let's pop that in there. Killer has green eyes. And do you need this information? Sense features by using of the two victims. Is that all I need to send? Mark where the killer was during. It happened one hour. Perpetrator and victims have to be in the same place. So I need to send for his two information marks. That should be everything. Three more teacher. How the heck? So what information did you want to know about him? He has green eyes. Okay. Hmm. Maybe say he's 30 years or older? I mean, I don't know. Let's look at his information. He is 33. Male, hair color brown. Yeah, I mean, this should be pretty easy since I now know who the killer is, so I can just pop in information really quickly. I need to go collect the clues, is the thing. Scary bathroom. Okay, let's go here. And it didn't want his information for that time, so I do need to put that in there. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, and our 12 is going to be here at this building. There we go. Ugh. Okay, and then we just need to mark the information, don't we? I'll just put it on the stand just in case. Oh, no, I need the victim. Let me just put it on there. Apparently that he's 30 years older. And it didn't like that I said the eye color thing, so maybe he wants to talk about the hair color? Um, hair brown? That should be everything I need to solve this murder. Is that whispers? Well, then again, I think the rods are supposed to just activate if something eerie is going on. What the fuck was that? <laughs> that was terrifying. Okay, clues. Obviously, this one. Why are all those X'd? Do you not like that I put that there? Do you want me to go select a different thing okay i guess it was just being picky about that choice it's just kind of weird that it x's out even before you get a chance to test it so okay well i guess go on to aaron's page and go select that the eye color was green black gray blue green that should give me the answer. Okay, so they're blue. We don't hear any whispers, right? No scary whispers? La la la. Unless it requires me... Oh, wait. Where am I going? I'm not reading the paper. Oh, there you go. That was being kind of picky. Because look, I did even put Aaron have brown hair. And it only wanted to accept it if Florence had it on it. 
then again, maybe the clue was specifically tied if you use the dowsing rods and click on her. Maybe that's why it was being picky about it. Okay, click on you. And we need to put his... That should be done. Fruit of knowledge. Well, I ended up dying, but hey, I gained the success of knowledge by rushing through that. Mr. Kernick told the investigators about how the school treated his son. The teachers did their best to make him quit the school. Oh, this Irish boy should know his place and other nonsense you'll hear in old families. It all ended with the teacher pursuing other children to beat him up. Oh, I can see that. I mean, a grown-ass adult decided to tell children, go beat up this kid. I can see why this parent killed them. But why both of them? Is it because, oh, maybe that headmistress was involved, like she was really pushing for it too. Because all I saw was the teachers. It didn't say anything about the headmistress, unless she was collateral damage. Let's see, it worked too well and now my boy is not able to walk. Oh, so he got paralyzed. Oh. Okay, I see. I see why you murdered this person. Terrible, yes, but I can at least see point A to point Z, where you came from. I won't say that I condone his decision, but I understand him. The connection with our old woman turned out to be a dead end. Turns out that she was active, corresponds not only with the headmistress, but several professors throughout the country. Oh, they discussed with scientific issues. We'll study your letters and report the result later. Huh. Well, day three. Working disagreements. Someone else die? This is a very short one. Determine the location of the victim and determine the location of the suspect. This concerns me why it's not giving me a lot of objectives. Like, is the whispers going to come out me more? Okay. Working disagreements. An old police officer asked us for help. He used to work with our grandma, but stopped after the police cut all ties with her. If we help him, he'll tell us why. This interests me, so I decided to agree. The case itself is solved, Mr. Bones. A sailor dismissed from the Navy quarreled with his new employer over money and killed him during a scuffle. Whoa. He threw the body into the basement of some abandoned house. Bones' confession is already on my desk. The problem is that the murder took place at night and Bones was drank. <laughs> was drank. <laughs> yes, he was that drunk that he drank. He was so drank. Yeah, absolutely no memory to in which cellar the body lies. The relatives of the murdered man asked to find the body for burial, determine the hour of death, and find where the victim and Mr. Bones were at the time of the murder. If you succeed, this cop will tell something about our old woman. This should be a very quick chapter. I mean... It just is freaking me out that I'm only having to do two little things. What else is going on? <laughs> he was a former sailor. He came to work January 2nd, drunk, took him to store. I was like, how blasted were you? You can't even remember where you put someone's dead body? Okay, I guess let's let's get started then. What? The wheel of that the the that the fa 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 It's located on the first floor. It's this wheel. Where? Where is this magical Oh, maybe that. Ooh, pretty looking fire. Okay, how do we function? Place the case. Oh, over here. 
uh, gotcha. Um, what was the times? Whoops. So, date of birth. Oh, right, we're looking for the time. Yeah, I placed it on the stand. What now? Oh, we gotta read things. Okay. <laughs> so the black arrow points to the zodiac sign. What's the zodiac sign? I don't know what your zodiac sign is. Oh, I need to read on the table. Okay. The, what is your birth? I'm not reading. 1887. December. So you should be, what, a Capricorn or something? Something right before. Ah, there we go. Zoomies. He's a Capricorn. He is... No. Am I not reading? 16. So he's a Sagittarius. He's a fire sign. Okay. So. Black arrow... Sagittarius, where are you on this board? Is that you at the bottom? I think so. Which ones is that symbol? Yeah, it's the arrow looking one. Gotcha. Black arrow is pointing at you. Which one's that? Oh, so that changes this. Should it be pointing upwards? No, it just says that. Identify the key letter. What the hell? God. You could hear that fabric pull off of it. Wait, is there more spirits out? Oh my god, I'm probably gonna die. I'm probably late. Where am I hearing this? Is it fine now? Okay, that was creepy as hell. Aw, oh, the light's running out. Well, we'll start this again in a moment, because since I got distracted, I'm really bad at reading astrology signs, apparently. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Key number of this surname. What else do I need to learn? Ah, oh, I gotta learn about key numbers for key letters. Identify the key letter, the first name. Element. What do we mean by that? Okay, yeah, we have to take care of that. Okay. So what exactly do we talk about this key letter name? The element. So, Sagittarius Fire. Key letter of the first name. The first letter of the name. So, C. And for the last... The surname has identical letters, then the key letter of the surname is the first one. Uh, like, if it has similar letters? Because there's only two similar. So, it's the first again? Nope. 
not so is that us breathing that was disturbing if not it's the last one so c and s this wheel thing's a little complicated for me where do we spin this thing the key ah this is confusing turn the wheel so that the red area points to the key number of the name so the first one was C, three. What do I do with the, the next one? Oh, okay. So for the C is three. On what of these circles? Apparently something about the red arrow. But where am I putting it to? What exactly are the symbols? I don't remember seeing those. What? I'm particularly lost. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, whispers. You know what? I need to itch my eye. That's what I need to do. Because it's very itchy. Meh. I did not realize we were trying to read this table, but this is confusing my brain. It seems interesting, though. It, it's a good little puzzle challenge to be having to check these mirrors and then having to come back and continue, like, doing all these little puzzles to figure out who murdered who. Am I going to finish this? Hopefully. It's just my brain is now befuddled by what the heck this table was. Any of them concerned, I'm going to not make it to the ghost. So I'm giving my mo a a a I'm giving myself a moment. <laughs> Can't even speak. Okay, continue. Let's try to go see where this ghost is. You nod this one? Wait, why is this? Are you right here? I don't know where they're gonna come from. I hear bubbling. How long does it take for them to come out? Oh shit, you see fire! What the hell? Whoa, they just make marks everywhere. That's creepy. <laughs> Coming through the clouds. What's gonna happen? Nothing? I'm fine? I thought they were here. What the heck? Or is that just an, a, a phenomenon that happens? The freaking fire feet. I hear something walking. Like, has this ghost not found me or it just gives me a lot of time to come get it? Oh. I can hear someone walking. <laughs> Oh, 
Can this ghost not find me? I'm giving it a lot of time to come chase after me. Okay, I guess it's not going to come after me. Eh. Uh, I'm pretty good on this. This has been creepy, but I'll push it for another time because it's confusing me with this confusion. I don't know. It does seem interesting, but... It'd be interesting to see how it comes together for the full project. I mean, it definitely has creepiness. I don't know why it does some of those noises in the background. It just seems like something... I don't know what it's trying to... do. But, yeah, I liked it. I should, I should finish it. I mean, I'm working on all these other scary games. I should give it a chance. I just don't like being timed and then expected to do all these puzzles. I'm like, I feel a little stressed trying to work between that. But let's play something else for a bit. So let's see. You will go to the BRB screen. Orange it. Did it and leveled up. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this? I just... oh. What the hell's wrong with this old hag? Will you shut up? I'm trying to get some sleep here. Uh, was it? Yes! That was what just enough. Like all... Click. Just wait a minute. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with me. I'm just being funny. <laughs> just pop some pills. Make everything go away. Oh, what is happening? Oh. Let's take some more. Okay. Huzzah! We're gonna move on to YS because that way we can actually beat this other complicated boss and we can jump between games and just progress a little bit in each. That way it's not all clammed together. Capture the screen! Hey, where are you? Come on, OBS, capture it. You know what it is! Don't fail me now! Come on. There you go! Aya! You'll be here. I'll be here. And give you guys music. Perfect. That way we can. Go and try and take on this bat moth looking thing. Since I've read up on the community guide of kind of exactly what I need to do for this fight. Let's see, how loud are you? I could tweak you because you might break my ears. Oh yeah, we have to do this scene all over again. But hey, now you can dash. Amazing. Little annoying, I have to keep repeatedly seeing this. Huzzah, and then I need to... Items... Oh yeah, that's how I change the gems, that's a good thing to know now. I need to go and use the item. Went to dash. Perfect for dodging. So this is us running. This is the dashing. This is what I need to know for this fight coming up here. That's what if I want to walk.
Oh, how'd I do that? So if I click over twice with my controller, it'll dash. Am I gonna remember that? Probably not. So I'm just gonna work with the button thing. Oh, does it keep it on, on running automatically? Oh, that will be a smart thing to have. Okay. Oh yeah, good point. Hmm. That didn't keep it going. That made it actually really would be a smart thing if I just saved after getting that scene. That way I don't have to do it again. Is there a way I can change the dash? Double tap the dash. No, I should be able to just run whenever. Does that still work? No? Okay, so I guess we're just gonna hold down the button to do dash then. What was it? <laughs> this thing, I was forgetting I hadn't quite charged it, so I wasn't using the magic properly. I was wondering why it wasn't doing the animation. Then again, it looks like a dinosaur as well. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, fireballs, gotcha. Oh, that took some damage. So I just need to be careful about these tiles especially, because... Is it gonna hit me? I want me. I really am testing out theories at the moment. Okay, that did some kind of thing onto it. Okay, so that does this. That took away some of my health as well. I mean, that does nine. Me just swiping doesn't really do anything. Oh shit, my health is at ten. I should have looked at that a little bit more carefully. Hmm. Okay, so I didn't get any bad health on that. That didn't hit me, though. Okay. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> I don't really have to get a feel for the pattern here. I need to put- oh, that hit me! So I have to watch out for the, the, the things at the curve. Okay. That didn't hit him whatsoever. Oh. So where can I hit him? That, I think, made some damage on me. And that takes damage as well. So what if I'm jumping? Oh, so if I... So I'm not quite tall enough to reach. on the other side. That's why you take damage. Huh. So, oh, I jumped and it still hurt me. Hmm. Okay, so that does take damage for me. That was 
a good opportunity to hit it when it's up in the air. This is definitely a battle that I've not seen done before. It's exciting though. Oh, that did keep me safe for a moment. Oh. Oh, but that definitely hurt me. Let me hit him a little bit. Oh, but that hit me. Okay. Should turn to the title for that. Because again, this is just jump around and play a little bit of things. That's gonna take a bit. Oh, hey Mitwolf! Sorry I didn't say hi earlier. Kind of just trying to figure out how to fight that enemy, but it's like, eh, it'll come to me at some point. It's going to be challenging each time. Let's go. Oh, I can't spell! How do I spell? I know I'm making a mistake with one letter. Yay! I know how to spell. Oh no, I'm just fiddling about, so I'm gonna be here a bit. Cause what was it? We just played some prognosis, and then I just fiddled around with YS for a few minutes so I could figure out the battle. So you're not late. I have no idea <laughs> the time, so your present. <laughs> that makes no sense in my brain. Let's put that on there. Perfect. Clicky, clicky. We'll update it one more time. <laughs> you understood the wonders of the words. <laughs> But now we can go back to Doki Doki. I haven't looked at this game in a bit. I forgot I was continuing to read it. Except it's super giant. <laughs> fix you, fix you, fix you. You will be on the screen properly. Beautiful. Oh no, it's not even on the screen nicely. Please, fit the dimensions. Beautiful. I'm actually really good. I mean, this was lovely my full day off, so I didn't have to worry about errands. I get to make lasagna tonight, so I get to put my own zesty twist to it, so to speak. <laughs> How's your day been? I mean, on my side of the place, it's very rainy outside, but it does feel good weather wise. A little monkey child in the background. Are you taking a nap? So cute. What were we doing last time? Ah, we had finished up the first poem. Was this? I think this is our second poem. After they had the little argument, and there was already some of the differences for the story. So. I think we're still pursuing poems specific to Satori, so let's go with that for now. Let's see. Fear? Mm, frightening, bouncy. Hey, a short on YouTube? What is it? I mean, I'm guessing the shorts are just like condensed versions of your full video or just a smaller video set. I forget if they're like just cropped out bits of the video. It's one of the two. <laughs> oh, da, 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 da. Sensation? No, sensation's too much. Excitement? L let's go with excitement. Oh, it is one. Melancholy, I know. Oh no, that was too moody of a word. Small clip, okay. Is it about scary games or something else that you're trying out for you, your YouTube creations? Sadness, maybe that one. An ending? Misfortune? Nature? An ending? Ah. 
bellable question aftermath insatiable mm, hopeless misery eternity skateboard existence bad Eternity donut <laughs> judgment essence awesome sweet eh, we're just gonna click around because I mean it shouldn't matter too heavily who our poem relates to because that's a lot of brain power trying to think oh phas phasmophobia no ph or phasmagorna where am i saying no phas phas no i can't speak ah. phas um i literally said the word now i cannot remember phasmophobia there you go <laughs> i second guess myself are you playing the game? Because I'm guessing you can play it on Steam, if I'm correct. I have not picked it up yet, but it's really fun watching people just like play the game and see the shenanigans that go down. Especially when they're on their little, what is it, pr proximity voice chat. It changes the whole game. <laughs> Let's see. Pretty much the poem we picked, it's just gonna be a mess of letters, so I don't know if it's going to meet anyone's criteria. Another pay, another pay. Maybe I should drink some water. Apparently my mouth is dry. <laughs> there we go. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little bit more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Although you play it, play it on Steam? Okay. Oh, so you can play with AI? It'll actually still function? I mean, I figured the game only worked if you had it on, but if it actually has AI, that'll be interesting to see how, like, they interact. Do they actually help you? I would imagine they would kind of be just spinning around and get themselves killed for just shits and giggle for the computer. <laughs> ah! Why did it skip it? Or maybe I already read it. Yeah, you were comfortable with the days. You entered the club room drowsily. Natsuko and Mateo. Right, I need to remember, their names are different. Natsuko, Mateo, Yuri, Satori. Okay. Oh, if you just... Th okay, so... All the players are actual people, but the ghost itself is AI? Just trying to figure out the ghost? Okay, well, that still has a lot of potential to have shenanigans. I mean, the AI is not going to track you 100% of the time and you can mess around you can call its name you can try all kinds of things <laughs> I don't need this controller here what? okay so there there Satori is sitting at a desk with his hand resting his hand wait his hand his face <laughs> probably as exhausted as I am quietly slip into the seat next to him. Yo, Satori. Why are you all mad? Oh, somebody's grumpy today. Why is that? A smile a little to myself. Yesterday after school, Satori came out, came over to hang out, and we ended up playing video games. Ah! Video game addicts. Add it at again. Should definitely give it a shot. It does look fun. And guess the what is it? The deaths that happen because of the ghosts are just a surprise that happened to anyone. It does look like you have to earn money through each attempt at discovering who the ghost is, so you have to be kind of careful with what you pick. I mean, at some point, I definitely want to try out the game. It does look fun, and it definitely would be scary to play. 
What video games did they- Maybe they, in the video game, actually played Phasmophobia. <laughs> All night. What time did we stop playing? Probably 6 a.m. Oh, wow, they actually went to bed earlier. <laughs> oh, but they left it on. No, that's bad. Oh, so technically didn't stop playing? <laughs> Passed out. <laughs> I mean, there was, there's two people there. They both said, nah, let's keep playing. Oh, little zombies together. Uh, well, I am. <laughs> and you should be too. Maybe tired, but had fun? That's, that's a good thing to learn from that. Which probably will mean donuts or cupcakes since this game apparently does not have any other food options. Ah, They don't have money, I think, because these two seem like they're always using their allowances. Do you? <laughs> like, hey, can we get him to give us some food? Delicious. Yeah, what time is it? Because I do need to make sure I go check the mail soon for that stuff. Hmm. It said it came out. Where'd it go? What do you mean? Tell me the answers. Ah, there you are. Come on, click. I have questions. You said it was here. Okay, so it's ambiguous at this time. Never mind. But we look over at Yuri and gave Satori a playful nudge. Hey, Satori. <laughs> Why are we gonna ambush Yuri for? Rob him. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> I thought you meant like he had like snacks or something, but no, you're just literally gonna take his money. <laughs> okay, well, that was not a very well thought out plan then. Why would it be pointless? Uh, you're poor too. <laughs> Yay, the broke kids club. But then you have no money. How, how are you saying this if you can't aff responsibly afford? What stunt did we pull? Yeah, he was all like, ha ha, I'm better than you. Let me give you a lecture. It, it seemed like you meant it, though. <laughs> you, you were talking, so you weren't reading. to be a silver killer in 10 easy steps. <laughs> what even be what would even be step one? Have a, have a, figure out what your killer name will be. And pick out your iconic item or thing. Probably step 10 is would be actually for the murder. Everything else would be just like that's where you can prepare yourself for your life decisions. <laughs> it's a fun side of you. I mean, it felt like you were almost like a professor for a moment there. So, Natsuko, are you going to be angry? Because didn't we have a fight with you last time? Okay, he's in chipper mood. Ah, so he has food. <laughs> he notices the slight shift in my demeanor as I smell sugary treats. <laughs> I 
make it seem like we're like almost like a dog. <laughs> if we're that specific that we smell people and we've smelled food. I excitedly! <laughs> See, this literally sounds like a dog. So Tori sits up. <laughs> no, no! They're going with this bit. No! <laughs> what is it, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we being weird? <laughs> Isn't he like two steps away? You locked on. Okay. <laughs> the set intensifies when he unzips the bag. Okay. This, this is a little extra. <laughs> Confidently. And her stomachs rumble deeply. <laughs> this was literally a, a poem. <laughs> okay, now it's no longer the poem, but those last three lines, that was set perfectly as a poem. Oh, we don't even greet him properly? Can we just be nice about it? He trails off. We're, we're being super weird. Our blinking gaze are locked onto Nausicaa's confused face. Okay! Digits nervously. Yeah, we're being super creepy instead of just saying like, Hey, we smell some treats. Could we have some? <laughs> you smell like cupcakes again. Why do you think anyone wants to hear me? Maybe if you specifically have a cupcake spe smelling perfume, but that's just such a weird thing to say. You smell like cupcakes. I smell like confectionery sugar and flour. Why would I guess we're looking at him like really creepily or something if he's getting nervous by us. And he looks like Satori for mercy, but I mean, Satori has the weird look on his face, too. And where are they? <laughs> it's simply sweating. <laughs> Languishing here. <laughs> what is Yuri gonna do for you? <laughs> well, at least you trust him enough to be like, help me, these two are being scary. Him instead, no. Uh, he just said this all like, yeah. They're just give the treats up. Don't worry about it. Uh, if our intentions are aggressive, Yuri, you were gonna just leave your friends to get in. Trapping. Why are we trapping him? Just take the bag and go. <laughs> Feed us. <laughs> well, we're kind of weird bullies because we didn't hurt you or anything. We just weirded you out. Ravenous wolves. <laughs> well, we just wanted our share early. What's it going to be? Beautifully decorated fancy cookies. Ooh. And I do have cookies. I do want to eat some. <laughs> Without thinking, <laughs> Saitoria on a higher on it instantly. <laughs> I mean, you brought cookies to share. We were hungry. Enjoy it. <laughs> Horrific from the perspective. We sound like ravenous raccoons. Like... <laughs> So we took all the cookies. Oh, we're rude. I mean, apparently we were starving. <laughs> you savages! <laughs> you forgot to eat the tin. We trot away to safety. I mean, we seem to be the ones who were being the aggressors. We 
so, so hungry. The language we were withering away. Well, it seemed like we ate, like, maybe, like, 15 or 20 cookies. <laughs> okay. Now, where is Mateo? Is he even here? Oh, so he's not here, because I didn't hear any of his smug remarks. Playing his music! I mean, pretty sure I would not know anything, because Mateo wouldn't tell me where he went. Why are you surprised? Of course he doesn't talk to me. Nope. <laughs> Fortunately, nope. Right. Which, are they gonna bring up the whole girlfriend conversation since the original game they talked about the boyfriend instead? See, somewhat. It does get brought up. <laughs> I'm already checked out and gone back to looking cookie cookie. How would you have cookie crumbs in your teeth? I mean, unless it's a soft cookie, but... You shouldn't have cookie crumbs on your teeth. Logically. Oh, you know... Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Winks and nudge. <laughs> You checked out for two seconds and they like, said three words. You just disappeared in your mind. <laughs> I was not expecting that, okay? <laughs> I ruined the joke, apparently. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you just gonna go with that? Your ability to flawlessly read social cues is astounding. <laughs> I know. The greatest buzzkill that there is, this character is. Shut up. <laughs> so anyway, my point was... <laughs> All of us combined? Not with this smug attitude, no. Oh, so Natsuko says differently. Whoosh. But you were late. Mm, for the most part, only the last five seconds anyone cared. <laughs> Nobody cared! <laughs> Are you expecting me to leave or something? Again, with the backhanded remarks. But why are you late? But oh my goodness. Why is Mateo, like, super smaller than Satori? Is it just because the... Maybe his model's just too close? But it just makes it seem like Satori's giant. <laughs> oh, girlfriend problems. Mighty. A bewildered expression. Why is he getting embarrassed by that? Because <laughs> Mateo has a, a, a very annoying personality. I think that's the first time we've seen the folded arms. Cool! Making a song for me? Don't care, but... Interested? Oh, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> if it's talking about it, it'll bother you. Perfect. <laughs> I love, I love this personality they gave to the character. It's just 
takes what the what is it? Takes what it can give? Yeah. Expect him to snap or at the very least ignore me completely. No, but a smirk. Eh, what what double standard are you gonna present me now? Right. But last time you said, what was it? About the piano, right? I think so. I mean, if you're really focused or have music in, you can't hear the bell. Oh. Oh, and this you are playing guitar. Okay, another nice little difference. They're like, what? You play music? <sighs> now, I guess he's not in any other musical clubs or anything? Meh. Okay, so I guess music would be surprising coming from him. And I just noticed Mateo's clothes aren't all the way put together because he still has buttons open. So he's a little bit messy. I don't know if that's been a change, but that's something different because Monica was always put together and never out of place. So one little difference. Okay. That's weird. Why is it weird? A fancy... Wow, a total disc to guitars. Well, then again, maybe he would be like, Oh, I thought you would play like violin, or the cello, or the bass, or a clarinet. Yeah, a clarinet, I could see. Probably not a flute, and probably not a trumpet. Harp? I could see him playing the harp. Or the keyboards? Well, no, I don't see him being a keyboard person. Mm, the symbols <laughs> could be. Well, but I guess that's what he means by fancy instrument. The piano, violin. Oh, but you do play. Oh, so you're ready. So. No one knew about your other piano skill? Is this just some... that you're multi-talented? You've been playing so... guitar is something new and special. Okay. Interesting that they let you have piano as well. I don't know what kind of... like maybe that's a little... What is it? Saying that since Monica exists, you two are technically one of the same, so you have her skills as she has your skills, maybe? I don't know, that was just a little nice little tidbit of information. Maybe I'm elaborating on it too much, but it's an idea. Well, depending if this game has ending credits, we will hear this guitar. I don't know if we'll get audio for it. Maybe, maybe not. Why are you looking at me? Stop! Ow, stop talking to me, Mateo. Yeah, what the hell is he looking at me for? Well, yeah, I didn't, I didn't ask for when you're gonna play. Hopefully not. If you manage to stay, in, if I manage to stay in this club, right? Wait, he's trying. Are you actually think he's being nice? His version of nice all of a sudden. <laughs> His version. Oh yeah, no problem. You can learn. Have a good time. Oh, what game are you playing? Because, I mean, if it's some other interesting game to play, I would I want to know about it, too. There's so many games out there I've never heard of. That's another good thing about Twitch. You can explore some of the other types of games out there. Ah, Dead by Daylight! Always a fun game. Though, 
I have so many blood points, but I've yet to use them on my characters. <laughs> I think I'm just hoarding it till the ends of times. <laughs> of course, we're like, yeah, I don't really believe about this niceness. <laughs> Looking forward to it. He just had to. Just, why did he have to comment on our ability to stay in the club? But then he smiles, so it seems like he's sincere, but then not. Okay. And another smile. Ah, no, no suggestions from a smile, please. I think we're terrified to see that. Um, why would you be concerned if anything was missed? <laughs> Don't tell him about the cookies. Go. Oh. <laughs> Super normal, just having a good start of the club meeting. Okay, so we're about to share poems. Everyone's settled in. They'll be in their specific spots. Natsuko with his manga in the back, Yuri with his book and tea, and obviously Satori we're going to hang out automatically with. I should. I don't know if this is, unless it's going to give me a choice. Or maybe it's an automatic thing. Posters and stuff for the festival. Crayon marker glue sticks. <laughs> seven target creative seven year olds. <laughs> I mean, it'd be entertaining though. But I think we need people from high school to join this club. Macaroni pictures! <laughs> I don't think anyone else has made macaroni art in so long. I'm guessing that's something that just stopped being arts and crafts. <laughs> Smarty pants. Okay, so we're going with automatically. I don't know if this was an automatic. Or no, wasn't it a choice in the original game? I'm thinking so. Mateo going to try to help with us? Ah, already trying to pull my attention away. Not so fast, Mateo. Why are you grinning at me? <laughs> help you with things? I'm pretty sure you don't want my help. Yeah, what the... yeah. That, this is a trap. The bug, the glitch is in him now. I mean, we've made two poems, we seem serious enough. Wait, I'm actually gonna hang out with him instead? Dang, why are you getting so mad? Oh! <laughs> I was asking your permission. That's... That's a fucking scary thing when people just flip that and be like, Oh, I didn't ask for your permission. They're just like, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. <laughs> and all the music's gone, so this makes it so much more tension-filled. Why are you guys fighting right now? Yeah, where did the salt come from? <laughs> testosterone. <laughs> Why? <laughs> did we really need to use the word testosterone? We could have been like, the tension seemed to fill the air. <laughs> Why are we staring still? Okay, so Satori really wanted to hang out with me. Yeah, are, are we going to talk about this when we leave the room? 
we follow quietly out like we totally didn't just see this event just play out yeah what was up with that satori you're gonna have to explain yourself quickly trot to his side yeah hey satori cuckoo little cuckoo crazy yeah what that was about You had to do that. Because I wanted to spend time with Mateo and... Okay? Why did you had to ruin that? Why? Even that explanation doesn't make any sense. That's... Are we dealing with different problems in this game? Because... That personality kind of... Aggression... I do wonder if this game's gonna still follow the same... Backstory as the original game, or if we're dealing with a whole other set of problems with these characters. Either way... Curious! Very curious! Clearly I need to read more. Okay, I'm gonna forget about him. <laughs> okay. You know, why are we being super quiet about this? <sighs> How'd you forget and how am I going to help you? I mean, it seems like you could have done that well before eating all the cookies. Oh, good point. They were playing video games, but I finished my poem, so what's your... Well, I mean, I know what your excuse is. I have a poem, though. I replayed the minigame. Oops, caught you in a lie. <laughs> he was more preoccupied with eating lunch. Ah, cover for you. <laughs> Diabolical. Mm -hmm. Was curious what information I could have learned about Mateo, but eh, helping a friend out, that's a good thing to do. Yeah, I was like, what the heck? Why are we being so serious? And all that tension just because you were like, no, I need her to do my job while I do something else. <laughs> yeah, see? You even noticed it was a freak out. How are you gonna explain that to Mateo later? So, we're coming to the conclusion you like the character. It's pretty obvious you have a crush, and other people making moves on them doesn't make you very happy. Yeah, besides the excuse, it seems other things are brewing in the background. Punch him in the face, too. Well, we can do it together. Eh. No, just a guy thing. It's an everything, everyone thing. Put posters and have people gather together. Oh, so we don't even... Wait, so this is different. Because they didn't even announce the poetry thing... Till later. If I'm remembering right. Maybe it's shifted about. 
Yeah, I'm sure it's because in the original game, Monica came out and was like, we're gonna do this poetry thing. But Satori telling me is different, okay. Mind them all, oh, don't say that. That actually sounds like a fun event, reading poetry. Man, player character. You are uncultured. <laughs> Why are we being so sarcastic? <laughs> right? I mean, I can definitely hear almost how this would come out, like, poetry acting-wise. It would sound exciting, whatever this poem is it's talking about. Ooh. Thou floats all alone. <laughs> Shakespeare? You, you still doubt that it could be exciting, and so long as they can't sit down, they can't fall asleep entirely. <laughs> You're so uncultured. Oh, so his passionate side is something kind of like his own personal thing that's been off to the side. culture so we we agree okay so this does feel different than the last event we got my favorite rooms all oh, tension <laughs> Don't have it. <laughs> you learn to shut up. <laughs> okay, are we going to actually find these supplies at some point? Pockets. Why we need the pen? Oh, because you're doing your poem thing, right? Right. <laughs> Ransack the closet. <laughs> I, I, Captain. I do miss having crowns. They're so pretty, especially since you can make them look all shiny and polished. Are we going to drop all the crayons on the floor? Yep, slip through my fingers. clearly see all the crayons spilt about. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, truly no one is stopping you besides yourself. Sounds like we were gaslighting him too. <laughs> oh, but it worked.
No, we have some broken crayons. <laughs> so we have a messy box of half broken crayons. That's not good as new. Oh, so we're gonna use glitter too. <laughs> the local second graders will be impressed. Man, she still is bashing the idea of using crayons on the paper. Okay, so we're finished up and then I guess then we'll go to the poetry section. Is it really gonna be the best poem when you didn't even complete it? Before the task was ready to go? Oh, but he won't let us read it yet. Fine. But why not? Nah. Fair to the others. I mean, they'll show their poems in good time. Why do we need to track them? Why, do, why would I need to slip the poem into your bag? I mean, you could just have it in your pocket. Debatable. Oh, cute little CG. I mean, yeah, it does look different, but still, it has the same feel. Like, collecting things? What do you mean? So we were kind of your idol? <laughs> so I was even a smooth talker even back then. Aww. This is so cute! <laughs> this is such a cute little childhood friend moment. What's gonna change though? Good point. They really did some good writing for this. This feels like two characters interacting with each other who've known each other for a long time. I've gotta go take care of the other puppy out there, so I'll be back in a few moments. Oh, I can open a bin. Wee hee hee. That's a giant thing. What the fuck was that? Why did this whole sp I'll show you, you damn scoundrel, what bread you're worth. Blood! Ma'am! Do I seriously have to go find the hammer again? <gasps> Wait, is she putting me in the freezer? Where am I? What are you humming? What? Is there gonna be a cave in? <laughs> I hate you! <laughs> God damn it, Gabe. No! <laughs> that wasn't cool! 
point points. <laughs> so, Miss Angel, help me, Harmony, instead of sleeping on the job. I'm gonna... Oh my, I'm Toto. The hamster's precious hearts depend on you. Be strong, but gentle. You must try hard. Well, on to business. We did spec to the lock to now. Makes no sense. I guess we're gonna go in here? Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> Why? Come on, run. We are not doing this slowly. Because you're gonna pop out and I'm gonna feel like I need to punch somebody. Yeah, we just wanna be in here. What the heck am I in here for? You mean it's sham? How? Well, why? What do I else do? Please tell me I don't have to turn around. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Uh. Finally, <laughs> we finally finished the chapter. I've already met him the past five months, and now he's starting to talk to me. Sure, let's go to the sea. It's gonna be a CG, he, he wants to talk to us. What's up? Oh, the little ruffles. <laughs> what the fuck is What is this? Yeah. Let's see. We're gonna go. Hurt. Cute little scene with the childhood friends. Clearly, they like each other and they want to stay friends. Are are we not even closer now than ever? Oh, that, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that was quite insightful. Oh. His gaze linger. Okay, that was a cute little scene. Oh, and then it's all the happy music. Okay. It took a bit, apparently. Yes. I mean, we had to write a poem. Okay. <laughs> Are we trying to make this elaborate plan? We could just... Take the stuff and put the poem in the bag. <laughs> oh, you're gonna make all the crowns spill everywhere then. <laughs> I'm such a clumsy idiot. Oh no. <laughs> with this dramatics. I mean, at this point, we should already read the poems. But then again, this is different writing and plot-wise. So I don't know where it's taking it.
Mission complete. To sneak a poem into your own bag? <laughs> okay, apparently this is significant. <laughs> People are attracted to shiny things, so of course, put some glitter on it. Well, apparently he agrees with it. <laughs> the only she only has good ideas. <laughs> oh, we're sharing perils finally. Who's going to like my poem the most? It seems like it's this time around was a lot of rambling. So let's go talk to Mateo first. Why are you smiling? You're just gonna say something sarcastic, I know it. Yeah, you were like, ah, <laughs> It's going fine. But apparently you think I'm applying myself? Let's see. If if trying is paying off. That sounds a bit narcissistic from ya. I hand Mateo my poem. Oh, it's more towards territory. Okay, apparently that's how it worked out. Pretty dynamic. And there's two of what why are we deconstructing this? Right? Well, I mean, we're friends, so it makes sense that we'd hang out the most. Why is sweet capitalized? Are we trying to say it with an enunciation? Almost nauseating! Well, who else do you want me to hang out with? Say Tori the best balance between cute and sophisticated writing. But then again, it is going to force me probably to hang out with Yuri or not go more. I guess. Ooh. But that's the, his main concern. He's concerned that we're trying to take Satori's personal style and just use it for our own. <laughs> that was a joke? You could stand to spend some time with the rest of us, but... Our styles different enough to be our own? Now, what's this poem gonna read? Sure, let's take a look! Play me. Your colors through bright and beautiful blind me. Red, green, and blue. They flash, expanding across the universe. They won't stop. Your noise is endlessly meaningless. It squeaks violently, screeches across time, piercing through my ears, sine, cosine, tangent, an endless cacophony of grating waveforms. Like dragging a fork across a dinner plate, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust, an endless poem of meaningless. Quit me. Okay. This was quite the poem, but clearly it speaks to the meta appearing, or I don't know quite if they're going to do all that. Potentially, potentially not. 
We'll find out soon enough. More abstract? No, I like his first poem was much more abstract because this one, you get a clearer idea where this is going based on context. Yeah, it's good. Just very interesting. Your very specific style is that. Unique, yes. Your epiphany? Yeah, it still falls along the epiphany. Conversation with the reader. Okay, so that's from the previous game. But <laughs> we're aware of this. Interesting, we're, we're made aware of that. Because the player in the original game wasn't made aware. Alright. That was interesting. And I should make a save. That would be a smart thing to do. Let me put it on audio so I can drink some juice. So we're praising and talking about fellow writers and inspiring. Okay. Be afraid to be more daring. Okay. How can I do that? Right beyond. Metaphors. Yeah, see, making a beautiful or clever sounding one would be the task at hand. That sounds easy, but still, we're having the question of how do you make a pretty sounding metaphor that zings? <laughs> Replay. What are we reading? Oh, wandering mind thing. Okay. Hi, Oscar. Oscar Ultra Silver. Hi there. Sorry, it took me a moment. Oh, yeah, Doki Doki, but this is a switcheroo version. So, kind of the same? Phoenix. Immortal flame tearing through the sky. Resplendent, aristocrat inferno spreading her smoldering wings. Destruction. Fearless, I hold out my arm. I see the beauty the phoenix perches. It hurts, but I will hear. The phoenix seats me out. I am her only friend. I embrace her. Her warmth enfolds me. Searing my beast, my desire, my passion. The phoenix can never be tamed. The sun is where she dwells. And when I hold out my arm and call, 
she comes to me and ignites my soul once more. Okay, this is good. Yeah, daring, true. Oh. <laughs> what, why you give me these emotes? Why? <laughs> Are you not a fan of Doki Doki? Oh, hey, it's still on audio. No! What else did he say? Okay, metaphors, right. The prefers. We haven't seen your normal preferred writing style yet. Hey. I guess if you consider the poem since Phoenix Rebirth, maybe revitalizing? Oh, are you learning English? Well, I'm guessing you're using Doki Doki to learn, which, hey, bravo. Oh, like the knives. If it'll be knives, hopefully it is. I'm sure maybe the next two poems will get something ominous, because right now it's still very comic collected. <laughs> but will you actually tell me? Sure, another time then. Oh, this one? There's actually just Mateo instead of Monica. Ah, uh, essentially... I'm still, I guess, would be in the prologue of the story. Mm, we haven't... Bef we haven't done any task yet. We've just been doing the poem, so still early in the game. Just curious. I'm sure he'll tell us one of his hobbies. I'm sure my, my character has some odd hobbies. Yeah, the definition. Right. Well, that's a bit ominous. <laughs> I'm good at a lot of things. I mean, the only things you know about me is I write poems and talk to people. Ah, oh, but yeah, good point. We know how to deal with social conflicts. blush options I don't know what that means oh so we're having a cute little moment then uh, I guess go to Nasco but you're still mad about it We don't feel guilty about the cookies, nah. Oh, the penguins, that one. I gotcha. Thank you for clearing that up. <laughs> That's not a total train wreck. Meh. <laughs> I just still throw some good, good faith of words. Not everything has to be negative. Nah. Apparently, yes, a compliment. I'm guessing you like Monica. <laughs> I was talking about how my poem's the same like Satori's, right, right. Everyone keeps talking about how we're two peas in a pod. What's it gonna be? Ah, 
Trevor likes dolls. So there's this guy in my class, Trevor is his name. While everyone else think he's cool, I think Trevor's lame. Though he does like comic books and can slam dink a basketball, I found out that Trevor likes to play with Barbie dolls. It's hard to wrap my head around why he got so many friends. They speak so highly of him and the praise never end. Trevor this and Trevor that, from the classroom to the halls. I wonder what they'd think of him if they knew about his dolls. One day, Trevor came home, came at me, and he smiled at me fondly. I grimaced and backed away because I didn't want his doll germs on me. But his intent was friendly and he invited me to the vault. I went with to check out the babes while Trevor bought a doll. Do not care that Trevor's kind or that he has a brilliant mind, holding open doors, cleaning spills from floors, helping feed the poor, ending all the wars, shield your wives and hide your daughters cause Mr. Perfect can walk on water. Yes, he's smart and sure he's fun. No, he's not hurting anyone. Well, I hate to burst your bubble and I hate to hurt your feelings. But I also hate that Trevor douche with every fiber of my being. Someday I'll break my science about Trevor's love for dolls. I'm gonna let his secret out. I'm gonna tell them all. <laughs> oh, thanks. These are actually pretty comfy headphones. I do even like you can do that. <laughs> this was quite the weird poem. That was bizarre beyond all reason. But I'm guessing that poem's supposed to be a reflection of the Amy Like Spiders one. This definitely had more aggressive words in it. Okay. Everyone's talking about their hobbies today. What? What? Is it supposed to mean something else? Was it? Yeah, apparently, because I thought I just explained it. No. Miss the point. Oh, something that rubs you the wrong way. Pretty immature things. Oh, you'll get annoyed with perfectly harmless people. Born of envy. Well, I even misread the poem too. Yuri? And Sifori must have wrote a poem like that as well. Hmm. Right. Well, I'm pretty sure they're going to judge each other because they assume things about each other. Okay, so they're being buddies. Okay. <laughs> it helps you learn with those emotions in a simple, fun way. That sounds too educational.
Okay, what will be tomorrow's poem? And we have only one person left. Part of the noise out there. Hi. Oh, so he likes our poem as well. Was that supposed to be like an emote? I'm not sure what you mean by the last thing you typed. Well, me and I've been writing poems the last two times. Mm, I Natsuko mean, didn't give us the best praise. But apparently we didn't do as bad. I write my poems. Oh, they're being adorable. Why so? <laughs> we say this, but we're not quite on the same wavelength. But he's gonna keep the poem? Okay. Well, I think you're the last person to read it, so of course you could take it. Unless we have to show Mateo. No, we already talked to Mateo. But what's his poem gonna be? Sad thoughts. I pop my scalp off to the top of my head like the lid of a cookie jar. It's time to clean up in there. Happy thoughts and angry thoughts, all wiggling in the dark crevices of my mind. The happy thoughts are soft and warm. They rub against each other like a bundle of kittens. The angry thoughts are prickly to the touch. The prickles dig into my head and become stuck. The angry thoughts are mean to the happy thoughts. They never get along, so I pluck out the happy thoughts. Since the angry thoughts are too strong, I put the happy thoughts into bottles where they stay safe and sound. I keep them all on the shelf for when my friends come to town. The angry thoughts get stronger. Oh, the prickles then grow longer. Angry thoughts, angry thoughts, angry thoughts. In my head, they glow. The happy thoughts, they tingle. Their numbers begin to dwindle. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. In bottles all in a row. Night after night, more dreams. Dream after dream, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. Searching all the nooks and crannies. The angry thoughts eventually die. But when they do, they become hard and cold. I don't like the way they feel. Sad thoughts, sad thoughts, sad thoughts. Forever embedded in my mind. Dust settles onto my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. I check my head, but find no more. My friends look through my locked front door. I open the door, and in they come. Do they really want my bottles that bad? I pull them down from the shelves and give them to each one of my friends each one of my bottles. But when I let the bottles go, they slip out of my hands and shatter on the title between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, in shards all over the floor. Angry thoughts, angry thoughts, angry thoughts, banging on my door. Sad thoughts, sad thoughts, sad thoughts, eating at my core. My friends are yelling, pleading, my heart is pounding, bleeding. I want the angry thoughts to go away. I want the happy thoughts instead. But all I hear are the sad thoughts going. Echo, 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 echo. On repeats inside my head. Man, that's a really good poem. I'm impressed. Even, even the character's impressed too. Huh just takes some time. The magic of the words. 
But it seems like you didn't have to rush because that was a very good poem. Ah, but you did say that. Of course it's concerning. Ah, that's, that's the end of the line. What are we gonna promise? Aww. I am pretty much it's a clear sign of what's to come. But we should be worrying a little bit more. Just a few moments. It took you out, yeah, bitch. Don't have to deal with. Ah! Where's the other? Fuck. Where are you? Fuck. 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 Ah! Are you down? Where's the shack? Is there gonna be a cave in? God damn it, Gabe. No. <laughs> that wasn't cool. <laughs> My foot. Into Thank you. Just a moment. Little crybaby out there. Okay, now we're back to continue. Oh. Oops, I just made two saves. <laughs> Love me for being dumb and weird. I admit it. My <laughs> passionate about your writing. So what now? If I can remember, nothing significant should happen right now. We'll just go on to the next day? Unless we're gonna talk about the poetry performance? Maybe? I don't know if it's a requirement. Right? Okay, so this is when Natsuko should be pissed and leave if it follows the same plot. Okay. I mean, Yuri seems more concerned at this moment that the forming. No, it seems you're concerned as well. Okay. Okay, so both of you are not in agreement on this and don't know if we're going to make any headway today.
Right, they've been very shy and personable and vulnerable with their work. I mean, that's a big overlook of half your performers won't perform. I mean, it seems like you need to urge some of your other friends, like maybe from the debate club, to come see this. It seems like word of mouth would be the best option. So we're actually going to support this for Mateo? Oh, so that was easily solved. Okay, that, that was an easy problem to fix. <laughs> Drama queen. So we have everything on our phone instead? Doc. Theodore. Okay. Well, this is definitely different from last time. I'm getting the whole group to laugh. I mean, it's a good icebreaker. <laughs> oh, you actually feel confident enough to read your poems. Say nice things to me. Crimson Dancer. Is that one we're gonna be able to read? Okay, so we're doing well. Nothing bad should happen from here. Backflip. Rhythm and brawling. Okay, but it seems like once we get to Satori's poem, it's gonna get like melancholy. Oh, Mateo's gonna be last then. Last star. Maybe that's the one he was talking about earlier from. It's a crit, so... Should have been, like, talked about more dark. Pointing out just to point fun at him. Oh, 
okay, but it's, so nothing he says is wrong. Show off. So we've almost finished up the day, and then we can end on the poem. <laughs> I'll pick a real poem. He's really praising us now. Okay, so tomorrow we're gonna make some decisions. call me like oh we are adorable walking home <laughs> you just walked into that In two weeks. <laughs> that was a cute little interaction. Oh, gonna act a little bit different now? Why are you spacing out? Pretty sure he totally forgot about it already. <laughs> Earlier. And specifically Mateo. Oh, we actually have a little clicky choice. I don't know if it matters, but I'll just make a save there. Well, how about this? He's so charming, he's an ass. He deserved it? What? and concerned. A lot, apparently, is going to happen. Good place to save. I think we got through a bit more. This is a good place to end that. Yes, I want to quit on that. Dirter, dirter. And we're gonna go to the ending screen. This was a fun little time to just fiddle about with some games, but time for me to leave. Bye bye.